and welcome my name is Libra in full watercolor and today we will paint I will show you how to paint and we will paint a pine tree yesterday I've tried out a tutorial from from tinted toodles on Instagram and my first outcome looked like that it is quite quite okay I, I i think like for for the first time for the first try it was very easy to make and i got so immersed that i tried because it doesn't look like a tutorial at all i was not satisfied with that it, it, it's good enough but it's not i'm not satisfied with that it's too abstract but and then i've made it a second try and that is not good at all it uh -uh. no 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 it is not good at all so i tried i tried i tried and i tried and and came up with this uh which is not very good either and i kind of uh, thought where i was making a mistake so like for for example branches from here up downstairs um were too wide too let's say bushy and looked completely diff different than the than the top so the whole whole tree wasn't very consistent and coherent uh, so i used the two brain cells i have sometimes uh when they are not on vacations and i just slowed it down and took this try which is like way way better the of course it is like in a color so it kind of adds to the better effect bottom branches are a bit, bit thicker than the top ones but they are separated in a similar way as they are here in top uh, at the top and they are more proportional i think and just the, 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 they are the, the whole tree is now more coherent as you can see and that's this so when i figured what to do here and how to do it i've created my last tree that i have somewhere <laughs> i have it somewhere here i'm sorry i just mm. yeah <clears throat> me being clumsy i just tipped tripped this lamp as my desk is a little bit too small give me a second give me a second and then i've created this and this looks almost like a real time real deal pine tree right so i put a little bit more effort i've used my former knowledge the bunch of bunches of branches are more connected to each other with the in between little branches and connecting the, the 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 spots comparing this to this right they both look nice but this one i prefer but then and i use different colors that also adds but yeah here are my notes this is what we will try to paint today and hopefully i didn't forget how to do it because lately yeah so let's get to it it's gonna be one paint one brush tutorial we will use verona earth green from renaissance as you can see i quite like it and as a brush we will use the one that i recommended in my latest video which is restauro house 886 size 6 i want to try how how to uh, how it will go with smaller brush because I've painted it with the uh, Restauro uh, with the same sa same type of brush only like 12 I, I want to see how to deal with the bottom with the smaller brush it's easier with painting bigger bigger blobs with bigger brusher is is way easier than with with the small one. well we will see for the paper I will use my cheapest watercolor paper I have it is happy color uh, it has like 20 250 grams uh, weight it was like uh, 790 790 groscher 
in Polish, so it's like one and a half dollar, maybe two dollars for Americans and I don't know, one and a half euro. No, two dollars and like around one euro. No, oh, two dollars and around like one and a half euro. I don't, I don't know that. Then it, point is, it's extremely cheap, and you have A5 10 sheets. I've cut out the uh, rectangle from it, and we will see what will we be able to do. Cut out the little rectangle that I will paint on and we will see how it's gonna go. So let me put you into proper position. So we will start from the trunk, from the stem uh, of, the, of the tree. It's gonna be just a simple, simple, simple line. That doesn't have to be straight, as you can see. Um, that is okay. I will just give it a little support here. And, well, I will have to <laughs> think something to deal with that. And now I just take a little bit of paint and just... If you hear something meowing, it's my cat. That wants a lot of lots of pets today. He will probably show throughout the video. You will hear him anyways. Now I just start to dab my brush a little bit as the as the top of the tree. And it's gonna be Mostly this little motion throughout the whole, 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 whole thing. Just need a little, little, little more spraying, and yeah, uh, just I let's say that those are floors of the tree, right? So each floor needs to be a little bit longer than the previous one. But I will use this. I'm, I'm just like basically just pressing my brush randomly and I'm trying to build more volume in the center rather than at the, at the side. So I'm just pressing. You can also do this a little maneuver. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be very precise. Sorry, for, for the long pauses, uh, I just, just try to focus on, on painting. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be a little, a little, way be long, a long, okay? So, yeah, and... I think we are heading to our last floor. We're gonna make this one like a little boat shape here. Yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of white spaces, uh, so it's okay. Therefore, we have like a little bit of variety in a tree. And now, since I have like the main floors now, I can try to connect them a little bit with the ziggy zaggy zags or just straight lines between them. They can be thick, they can be thin. And now, just a little loose where they, I feel like there is more need to a little. There is a little more like feeling feeling needed. Um, I will add some too. Okay, and now I will make the little bottom here a little bit thicker 
because the, usually the trees have like they they go like they are wider at the at the bottom and they go like that to the top so this is what we will implement here whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. all right i found it it it's it needs a little bit clean but yes i have found it and I feel like it is good as it is. As you can see, we, we can just like, you know, play around and add a little bit more volume here and there, a little bit more loose uh, loose uh, bits, loose tracks. So that's about it. Um, you can add a little bit, also a little bit more dark points here and there, but I, I, I think the water did its job painting until your paint runs out also uh, helps with, with different value, to have different values in, uh, in a painting. Uh, so yeah, I would say that would be about it. It's very simple. Took us less than 10 minutes. It's like actually in my recording it's 7 minutes. So in the video it's gonna be like around 6 minutes. I will dry it and show you the final result. And there it is. It's all dry, nice and dry. This is how it looks. You know, it's more, more, more close up. As you can see, it was just as you can see, it was just tapping the brush on the paper, and quite organized matter, but you know, randomly but with purpose, I, I, I would say. And and there you have it. It it is really really one of the simplest uh, thing you can try things you can uh, things you can try to. Uh, to paint and I uh, it looks nice even though the paper is extremely cheap but the like things like galaxies or things that need to use more water to be made to will look not as good as on the professional or better quality paper but like for this kind of stuff or little floral florals or whatever uh, it will be perfectly fine I, I think I will try to paint this tree also on in a regular notebook so we can see that you can like create really nice pictures on not not necessarily watercolor paper so if you liked it if you like this little uh, quick tutorial uh, please leave a like sub consider subscribing leave a comment share this video and also visit the visit tinted toddles on instagram i will of course the links are down below and uh, that's it for today thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye